Good evening. I welcome you to the Festival of Lessons and Carols. Tonight we'll hear the whole story of our faith, from Adam and Eve in the beginning, to the visionary and thoughtful and hopeful prophets, Micah and Isaiah, to the familiar characters of the Christmas story, the angels and shepherds, the dastardly kings and the wise men, Mary and Joseph, and of course, the baby Jesus, who has brought us here tonight. The story of Christmas is more than just a sentimental tale of that baby born depicted on the wall behind me. This is the story of God's promise to us, of the grace and hope that is God incarnate. God made flesh, Emmanuel, God with us. As you listen to the scriptures tonight and take in the beauty of the music and carols, I, allow, I invite you to allow yourself to be drawn into this story of our salvation, to find yourself written in the whole story of Christmas to see and hear and feel the gift and promise of hope that is always yours. To discover the salvation that is born for the whole world, for all generations, for you and for me. The light that shines in the darkness, the grace and truth wrapped up in those swaddling clothes. God with us, Emmanuel. I invite you to stand and sing with us the entrance hymn in your bulletin.
God, in this Christmas season, let it be our duty and delight to hear once more the message of the angels, to go to Bethlehem and see the Son of God lying in a manger. Let us hear and heed in Holy Scripture the story of God's loving purpose from the time of our rebellion against him until the glorious redemption brought to us by his holy child, Jesus. And let us make this place glad with our carols of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of his whole world, for peace and justice on earth, for the unity and mission of the church for which he died, and especially for his church in our country and in this city. And because he particularly loves them, let us remember in his name the poor and the helpless, the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick and those who mourn, the lonely and unloved, the aged and little children, as well as those who do not know and love the Lord Jesus Christ. Finally, let us remember before God his pure and lowly mother and that whole multitude which no one can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh and with whom in Jesus we are one forevermore. And now to gather up all these petitions, let us pray in the words which Christ himself has taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven. The Almighty God bless us with his grace. Christ give us the joys of everlasting life. And to the fellowship of the citizens above, may the King of angels bring us all. Amen.
invited to be seating, seated for the reading. God tells sinful Adam that he has lost the life of paradise and that his seed will bruise the serpent's head. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. Thanks be to God. prophet foretells the coming of the Savior. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of deep darkness, their lights have shined. You have multiplied the nations. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest as people exult when 
dividing plunder. For the yoke of this burden and the bar cross their shoulders, but rather their oppressor you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the trampling warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from the time forward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Thanks be to God.
peace that Christ will bring is foreshown. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see, or decide what his ear hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist, and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the old of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hands on the adler's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all of my mountains, on, on all my holy mountains, for the hurt will be full of knowledge of the Lord as the water covers the sea. Thanks be to God.
the prophet Micah foretells the glory of little Bethlehem. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she, she who is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel. And he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be the one of peace. Thanks be to God.
the angel Gabriel salutes the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month for her, her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God. Luke tells of the birth of Jesus. 
In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Thanks be to God. The shepherds go to the manger. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then the angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. For see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph, and the child 
flying in the manger. Thanks be to God. men are led by the star to Jesus. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word 
so that I may also go and pay him homage. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. Thanks be to God. I invite you to stand as you're able. St. John unfolds the great mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. 
But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave the power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the world be word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God.
God, you have caused this holy night to shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that we who have known the mystery of that light on earth may also enjoy him perfectly in heaven, where with you and the Holy Spirit he lives and reigns one God in glory everlasting. Amen. May Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, fill you with joy and peace, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.